Hey drone friends, this is Adam at UAV Coach and Drone Pilot Ground School. Happy Friday morning and welcome to our Drone Weekly News Roundup. I have three stories to share with you this week. Our first story is talking about Amazon and its drone delivery program called Amazon Prime Air. After they had finally announced this program, the news was a big deal since there had been a lot of delays and setbacks. The delivery started in two locations at once, California and Texas, but a month after launching, Amazon was only able to make deliveries to a total of 10 houses across both locations. It also has now fired more than half of the employees at both locations. The main cause for such a low number of delivery recipients is because of FAA regulations. Amazon doesn't have the approval to fly over roads without a spotter on the ground, meaning that each drone delivery requires around six people, including visual observers and ground station operators. Our next story is for anyone that loves drones, but also loves saving money. So. I hope all of you. With drones getting into quadruple digits nowadays, it's hard to find budget-friendly drones. Luckily, we've compiled a mini list of DJI drones under $600. The list was inspired by the recent launch of the DJI Mini SE2, making it one of only a handful that are under the $600 mark. So here's a quick rundown of each one. The Mini SE costs $299. It has a flight time of 30 minutes and comes with a 1 and 2.3 inch CMOS sensor that can shoot video at 2.7K and stills at 12 megapixels. The Mini 2 costs $449. It has a flight time of 31 minutes and comes with a 1 and 2.3 inch CMOS sensor as well and can shoot video at 4K and stills at 12 megapixels. It also has DJI's OcuSync 2.0 transmission technology and can withstand winds up to 24 miles per hour. The new Mini SE2 costs $369. It has a flight time of 31 minutes and comes with a 1 and 2.3 inch CMOS sensor that can shoot video at 2.7K and stills at 12 megapixels. The Mini SE2 is a stripped down version of the Mini 2 with the video quality dropping from 4K to 2.7K, but it still comes with the main bells and whistles you find on the Mini 2, including HD video transmission range of 6.2 miles, intuitive flight control features like one tap takeoff and landing, return to home, and intelligent shooting modes like panorama and quick shots. The Mini 3 costs $559 and has 4K HDR video, true vertical shooting, extended battery life, and many intelligent features. If you want more of an in-depth view of all of the drones listed, click the article down below. And finally, Dubai is making big moves as it prepares to launch its drone taxi program, a program that they have been talking about for years now. A company called Skyport's Infrastructure recently had its Vertiport designs for Dubai approved at a presentation made by Dubai's Road and Transportation Authority, along with drone tax company Joby Aviation. And for those of you who don't know, a Vertiport is basically a defined area that can support the landing of aircraft just like a helipad. Several plans were highlighted throughout to develop the vertiports by 2026. So pretty exciting stuff to look forward to regarding drone technology. And before we wrap up, here are some of the week's photo and video submissions to share with you all. All right, that's all we have for this week. As always, check out the links below to read more about each story. Also, show us some love by subscribing to our YouTube channel and liking this video. And now I'll pass it off to you. What do you think about Amazon's drone delivery program? And what about a drone taxi program in Dubai? Comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I hope you all have a great weekend. And to all of our drone pilots out there, blue skies and safe flying.